multiplying by 10, 100, and 1,000. To multiply by 10, all we need to do is add a zero to the right of the number. So we have 36 times 10, 36, and add the zero. So 36 times 10 is 360. We can also demonstrate that as 36 times 10. Just bring down the zero. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 3 is 3. 360. Again, to multiply 48 by a number, in this case 100, just add two zeros to the right of the number. So we have 48, and let us add our two zeros. So we have 4,800. Let us not forget our comma. And we can, again, demonstrate that as 48 times 100. Let's drop our two zeros. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 4 is 4. 4,800. And to multiply a number by 1,000, again, we just add three zeros to the right of the number. So we have 65 and our three zeros, which makes this 65,000 very easy to do. And again, we can demonstrate that as 65 times 1,000. Let us multiply. Let's drop our three zeros. And one times five is five. One times six is six. And that gives us 65,000. Note, a comma is placed after every three numbers counting from the right. Example, 135,000, 56,000, 4,565,000. each bundle of shingles, there are 20 shingles in each bundle, and there are 10 bundles. How many shingles are there in these 10 bundles? Let's do the math. There are 20 shingles per bundle, and there are 10 bundles of shingles, so we're going to multiply that by 10. Bring down the zero. One times zero is zero. One times two is two. But there's a faster way to multiply when you're multiplying by 10. This is 20 times 10. Just add a 0 onto the 20. And that's 200. So there are 200 shingles in those 10 bundles. This is a four passenger helicopter that takes tourists on rides to view an active volcano over Hawaii. Helicopters can not only fly forward and backwards, but they can also fly vertically. This is the inside dash of the helicopter. This is the instantaneous vertical speed gauge. Note that the gauge registers the amount of speed per foot per minute multiplied by 100. So if you're going to be a helicopter pilot, you're going to have to be able to quickly multiply by 100. Notice that the gauge said instantaneous vertical speed gauge. And when that needle, say for instance, goes to 15, you're going to have to, in your head, multiply that by 100. So 15, and all you have to do is add two zeros to it. That would Then the helicopter would be ascending 1,500 feet every minute if its needle stays on 15. and the needle swings down to 25, it's going down, and then it will go 2,500 feet per minute. So you can see that being a helicopter pilot, you're going to have to know how to do this, and there's many other times that you're going to multiply it by 10 or by 100 or by 1,000, so you should be able to do that quickly in your head. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.